Today's video is sponsored by Disney Book Group and is in celebration of the release of Simon Sort of Says by Aaron Bow. Let's talk the impact of books. Reading has had an immense impact on my life, and I think there's beauty in reflecting on the ways in which it has. Books are a gateway to my safe space, a sweet escape, a hideaway. I escape through the pages and find healing in my brokenness and pain. I drop all insecurities, anxieties, self-doubt, and loneliness. It erases it all for a moment in time and lets me exist without overthinking every little detail of my life and be suffocated with anxiety. Oftentimes, the books I read have little letters sprinkled throughout them, reminding me that I am enough as I am. I am enough as I am. When I leave the comfort of those pages, I try to carry those messages with me, reminding myself that I am enough as I am. Books have impacted my life by allowing me to choose moments of quiet in a world full of noise. It's not easy to break away from the chaos of the world, but as readers, we actively choose to step away from the commotion and allow ourselves to be embraced in silence and consumed by words. A moment to be still, a moment to be patient, a moment to reflect. We are actively choosing to go against a culture consumed by this non-stop nature, this hustle, high speed, go, go, go. Books continue to impact me by allowing me to learn and grow. There is power in coming out of a book with a new understanding. Whether you learn something new about yourself or you've gained knowledge of an experience about someone who's nothing like you, it can expose you to different experiences, cultures, lifestyles, careers, or places. Your empathy for others will continue to grow the more you read. There is nothing quite like finding yourself growing and learning through the stories you consume. Lastly, connection. I never expected the world that reading would lead me to. Opening a book and spending hours reading it feels like a solitude activity, and it is. But what comes after you read the book was what surprised me the most. Hitting record on a camera and sharing my thoughts on books opened up a world of connection with other readers. Nothing compares to forming a bond through the love of books. Reading can thread you together to people who have had similar experiences with books that you've read, and the people you meet who read are all choosing a life of books. You're all choosing the escape, you're choosing the quiet, you're choosing the growth, you're choosing to be impacted by books, and that's why it can be so easy to find common ground with fellow readers. There's no way to truly measure the impacts of reading, but as I continue down the path of life, I hope I continue to choose books. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I loved talking about books and their impact on my life. And today's video was inspired by the new book, Simon Sort of Says by Aaron Bow. This is a book that I just know is going to impact me in some kind of way. And I feel like it's a book that's going to leave a mark on everybody who picks it up and reads it. I feel like it's going to be one of those books that just sticks with you. In it, we follow Simon who has a very interesting life. And Simon feels like his claim to fame should be this alpaca disaster that was caught on camera and then later went viral online, but instead his title of fame comes from something that he wishes he could forget desperately. That being that he was the only kid in his class to survive a school shooting. Now that obviously sounds very sad, very devastating, very serious, and while this book is covering a very serious topic, it is also said to have a very like laugh out loud humorous side to it, which is something that I very much so appreciate because sometimes books can just be so heavy and it's nice when books are able to kind of find that nice balance where it's got humor but you're also covering serious topics and learning things. When a book is able to strike that nice balance, it's a win for me. <laughs> this is one that is going to explore the trauma that comes after a school shooting, and taking a peek at the courage you have to have to keep on keeping on after an event like that occurs in your life. I just know this book is going to have me crying. I'm fully prepared to have tears dripping down my face as I'm reading this book, getting tear stains on the book. I foresee a good and heavy book cry in my near future. Due to the fact that events like the one that happened in this book have occurred and continue to occur, I think it's something that needs to be discussed more openly and talked about more openly, and I feel like books like this are super important because we need to have 
stories like this on our radar to remember and to keep fighting for a better future. This one also has a bit of a hopeful tone for it, which I really appreciate because Simon has obviously been through a really tough situation, but he doesn't want to be known for that tough situation. He is a person outside of that. That is something that happened in his life, and yes, it was devastating, but he does not want to be defined by that. He has a lot of layers, and I feel like we see him being able to pave a path for himself and to show people that he's more than just a survivor from a school shooting. There's also a nice friendship element in here where Simon is able to kind of rely on these new friends that he makes after being through a very tough situation. Overall, I'm very much so looking forward to Simon Sort of Says. It's definitely one that I feel like you should all have on your radar, so I'll leave more information on Simon Sort of Says in the description down below. Go and check it out. Definitely pick this one up. I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments. Let me know what is the book that has impacted you the most in your life. I feel like I have so many but one that is coming to mind is a monster calls. I feel like that one has had a very big impact on my life. If you like this video, be sure to go and hit that like button. If you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your day is bright, that tomorrow is brighter. Keep reading what your heart desires and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye! -o.